Hey guys, Nigel here with you, Nigel's Modeling Bench. Bit of a different video today. It's a review, but it's a review of something a bit different. I finally got a camera. I went yesterday, looked around, looked at a load of uh, YouTube videos about what they do or how they perform, and ended up getting this one. This is the Sony Vlog Camera ZV or ZV1. And uh, it's a lovely bit of kit, I can tell you. It's very, very complicated. I don't know much about cameras, but um, it certainly is a lovely bit of kit. And I've, I've actually got this, uh, this uh, stand as well, which is on its way. Uh, they didn't have one in stock, but I just got the camera. It comes with a battery, it comes with a USB cable and a little instruction book. But the, the YouTube videos on, on this camera on how to use it are amazing. Now, a couple of reasons I went for this one. Um, I don't remember the guy's name now, but he did a fantastic video. Thank you very much. And he did a comparison where he had the screen split into two. And he was comparing this one with, the, with a Canon and then comparing this one with an iPhone 12. And the thing that impressed me the most about this one, about everything else, was A, the lighting. He purposely shot videos in poor lighting and this camera adjusted for it. And, and B was the zoom. Uh, you know, when, I'm, when I've got a part like this and I come along and I go, there you go, and you can see how that goes together. And the iPhone is so rubbish at picking up on it, it takes forever. And, you know, when I'm trying to show you some detail in a review or something and I'm trying to get it to focus, come on, focus, focus, focus. This thing is amazing. Um, if anything, it zooms too fast. I've had a look and, and there is a setting in there. You can you can have it fast, normal and slow. And they, they suggest having it on normal because the zoom is so fast. Um, but basically I'll be able to do this and assemble it and see that goes in there and then come down. Another reason for getting this is it connects to the computer via USB. Um, so it can be charging while it's working. But I can also use that same USB connection to watch the actual... I can see what I'm filming on my computer screen. So there'll be no more of this, you know, la 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 la. So you can see how I've done that. You see how I got it together. Oh, oh I was off camera. Sorry. Um, so... There's, there'll be no more of that and also like I say when I'm showing you detailed stuff I can look at the computer screen I can look at what you're seeing while I'm making the video um, it's also there's some software I can do um, uh, what do you call it um, webcam I can use it as a webcam so maybe I'll do some live stuff we'll have a look at that but it's all very very complex and I'm not a photographer at all I mean I don't even know what the terminology means the frame rate and the ISO and all this but anyway, here it is here. It is a tiny little thing. Oh, the other reason I got it, it's got a brilliant microphone. And as you all know, I mean, the three things I struggle with is sound, lighting and focus. This thing is, appears to be the best in all fields. The only trouble that I'm, I'm not going to, it's a quite an expensive piece of kit. And I want to say a big thank you to all of those that have been donating money to me towards a camera and, um, you know, into my PayPal and everything. Thank you very, very much. Um, much appreciated. And you guys pat yourselves on the back because you bought this and you've done a done be proud. So thank you very much. The reason I got the remote stand thing on there is it was 90 quid off. Um, and it means that I can have something next to me here on the bench and I can go on and off and zoom and everything from that stick next to me. I've since found out since I bought it, you can actually have your mobile um, connected to it. So needn't have bought that really, but I guess it's better to have a black box with buttons rather than trying to scroll through an, a, an iPhone that keeps cutting itself off. So um, anyway, but there we go. That is the Sony ZV-1. I'll switch it on. And you'll see the the lens comes out there. It's... um. 1.8, 2.8, 9.4, 25.7, some things. And it's a Vario Sonar. Yeah, and a T with a red thing. And it's got Zeiss lens. So it's a Vario Sonar lens. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, it comes with a little, what they call a dead cat, apparently, to, to go over the mic. So if I do any filming outside, I can kill the wind noise. We've got a lovely zoom function on there, you can see. Um, but it's got a um, optical zoom up to a certain level. And then you've also got a digital zoom as well. So we've got a filter, that's for taking pictures, that's for video. And then on the back here, you've got a screen which you can turn around and you can have it like that. So you can be using it as a camera and looking at what you're filming while you're filming it. Or in the case of me, I can have it like that. Okay, sorry, have it like that. And then when it's up in the air, looking down on like 
it's usually up above where the camera is now I can have that like that and I can see I could just glance up and see what you're looking at if I don't want to put the computer on um, it's just bloody awesome <laughs> it's really really good and also that can be turned so it faces in so when you carry it around it doesn't scratch that face so uh, when you turn when you it, uh, it's obviously all in the settings but when you shut that down uh, you can see that it um it basically uh, uh, turns the camera off and it's the screen protected as well so um if i open this up it turns itself on um and if i go into menu i'll show you some of the stuff it does let's go up to here oops okay so we go across to here so we've got oh, i've gone too far jpeg blah blah aspect ratio oh i need to come down a lot of this is grayed out because it's in auto all this stuff here, all this stuff here, you can see how you can see it. Look at all the functionality of it. It's just the stuff that's greyed out is because it's in auto. Soft skin effect is to make you look pretty. I bet it don't work for me. Okay, and then when it goes to 12 to 12, and it goes to the next one, it's going to budge over to number two. So all that file format, HFR settings, drive speed. Loads of stuff. Loads and loads of stuff. As I say, I got the, the videos on YouTube are a big help because I don't even know what some of the terminology means and some of the guys they put it into um into language that I can understand. My biggest worry with this is the dust from the sanding and everything, so I guess it'll be okay. And I need to I need to check it on my mountains. The other thing I want to find out is if I can flip the image, because um if any of you know that, please let me know in the comments below because Basically, when it's like this, it's going to be like this and mounted here and looking down. Everything's going to be upside down. So I wonder if I can make it flip upside down. I'll have to have a look at that. So uh, there we go. So, um, I mean, I can just turn everything over when I edit, I suppose. But it'd be easier if I didn't have to do that. So there we go, guys. That's uh, that's the Sony ZV ZV1 made for vlogging camera that you've bought me. Thank you very much. How kind of you. How very, very generous. See you all soon. And I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a review <clears throat> of a kit I've got in the stash. And that'll be my sort of trial, trial video. So let's give it a go in a minute.